We all look forward to the birthday that lets us enroll in driver's education. It's the path to freedom and responsibility that comes with our first driver's license. Hi, I'm Tyler Stanley from Nashua High School South. And I'm Kaylee Murray from Nashua High School North. At the beginning of the school year here at the Nashua New Hampshire Airport, we had an opportunity to learn about a different kind of driver's license. Did you know that you can get a student's pilot certificate and fly an airplane by yourself at the age of 16? And you can start learning to fly without being a certain age. A student pilot certificate allows anyone 16 or older to be a pilot and to fly a small airplane with an instructor. It works a lot like regular driver training. You have to study and practice driving, take written tests, log your flying time, and demonstrate your knowledge to an instructor or an examiner. Then, when you are 16 and you have passed the test, logged your hours, and when your instructor thinks that you are good and ready, you can take your first solo flight. It doesn't take much more time than it does to get your regular driver's license. You can earn a pilot's license at the age of 17. But not too many people our age know about this. And because of that, pilots, members of the Experimental Aircraft Association, started the Young Eagles program in 1992. In the program, volunteer pilots give youth between the ages of 8 and 17 an experience in general aviation flying. And since 1992, more than 1.5 million Young Eagles have flown. And actually, we were allowed to cover a Young Eagles event held here at the Nashua Airport. Over 100 youth participated during that day. And for many, including me, it was their first flight in a small plane. Did you like it? Yeah, I'll tell you more about that later. But let's get into what the day was actually like. OK. Well, the process is simple. First, you register. Your parents have to be there and agree to let you participate. And after that, you're assigned a pilot who begins you on ground briefing. Now, the briefing is pretty detailed. And you get into things like how to use the headsets to communicate in the aircraft. And here's what that was like. That way we can hear you talking because the microphone is right next to your lips. It thinks your voice is louder than the background noise. Yeah. And so the test is, if when you try to talk to us, if you are not hearing yourself in the earphones, no one else is hearing you either. Right. If you're not hearing... Okay, I've got two checklists. One is for pre-flight, which is what we'll do first. And then the startup checklist. We'll do that when we get in the airplane and get ready to start the engine up, okay? Okay. So what's first? Um, the front seat, there's a little better view out the front, but the back seat, you've got both side windows and front window to work with and look in more directions. At the plane, the pilot talks about flying in general and identifies key parts of the airplane. Okay, this is how you test the fuel. I don't know if you've done this before or not. You just drain a little bit out like that. Look at it. It should be slightly blue in color. It should smell like gasoline. Now left foot in, and then your butt in, and then bring your right foot in. All right. And the front seat occupant gets both a lap belt and a shoulder harness. Look quickly at the engine. No problem here. Young Eagles help the pilot complete a walk around or a pre flight inspection. Does anybody know what this is? This is called the aileron. The rudder is nothing in the back. So if you look again from the side, you see when you lift this up, because it generates more lift from the wall. Checking the other side of the prop as well. They're coming along here. Uh, let's see, first flight of the day. I've already flown this one. I can do it. But this is, there's another fuel drain point. Uh, we'll point this to get any water that you have out. Once in the plane and buckled, the young eagles work with the pilot to finish the pre-flight checklist. Lock brakes. Lock the brakes. Um, carb heat Yep, that's this. Okay. Mix here, roll and switch. Right, that's that. Plug right and left fuel tank. Okay. We'll go to the left fuel tank. Open throttle. Yep, don't need to do that now. 
think I got enough cushions for you, but we'll see, okay? Okay. So you go like this, from the black, grab this right here. Some of the volunteer pilots include members of the International Aerobatics Club, offering young eagles a first flight experience in an unconventional aircraft. And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Stand on the seat and slide down. Okay, say I push the stick to the right. This guy deflects down, that guy deflects up, and the airplane banks. Alright. When I pull on the, you know, when I do that, and I pull a little bit back on the elevator, the airplane turns. Now, I'm wearing a parachute. It's only because it's my backrest. Oh, okay. If we were doing, are you talking now? If we were doing aerobatics, you'd have one too. Okay. So now, have you ever done this before? No. Young Eagle flights last about 15 minutes, and since the flights are local, it's possible to fly over your own house or school. For a brief time, your pilot may even let you take the controls and fly the plane. It's an experience you won't forget. Once back on the ground, everyone wants to know what the flight was like. that you've seen before? Yeah, uh, we went over in school, my school. Oh, really? How was that? It was cool. Uh, I see a different view of the whole world. And there, and there was some uh, awe in, his, in the younger gentleman's voice here, Joshua's voice, as we went by Silver Lake, and he said, is that Silver Lake? And I said, yes. He says, it's awful small. <laughs> <laughs> you get a different view of the world from up there. So how was that? Joshua, there's your certificate, and there's also a little logbook here that we'll fill out in a minute. Do you know how old you have to be? How old? Yeah. Uh, you can start learning actually at any time. You're probably old enough to learn how to fly. You have to be 16 to solo you can fly the airplane by yourself. And you have to be 17 years old to actually take the final test check ride and get a pilot's license. Oh, wow. So in some states, I think you can actually learn to fly before you get Okay. Yeah, you're in a Piper And that's the national rule? Yeah, the flying is governed by the federal government. Okay. So it's not up to the state of New Hampshire or any other state. All those rules are uh, federal rules. And everybody who flies gets a certificate and a logbook proving their participation in the program. Well, this was my first Young Eagles flight today. Have you done it before? No, this is my first Young Eagles flight ever. Why did you volunteer? Well, I'm a member of the Aerobatic Club here, and uh, we do this uh, to support aviation and uh, because it's fun. Uh, and because, you know, we want more people coming up into the ranks of aerobatic pilots so that we can keep having good competition at contests and things like that. The idea behind this program is to get young people like us interested in flying. This is just the first step. The Experimental Aircraft Association offers scholarships, internships, and work studies programs. Check out their website. In addition, as a young eagle, you have access to an online pilot training course. It is up to you how far you go. There are many pilot members of the EAA who are willing to mentor students interested in aeronautics and aviation. 
but being a pilot is only the, one of the many careers in aviation. Aircrafts must be designed, built, and carefully maintained. And all of these areas hold career opportunities for interested young eagles. To learn more about this program, go to theyoungeagles.org. You don't have to wait for an organized event. If you are between the ages of 8 and 17 and you are interested in taking a flight, the Young Eagles organization will pair you up with a pilot, so go for it. You should also check out the FAA.gov website, too. The Federal Aviation Administration is responsible for licensing pilots, and their website has details on how students, like you, can become pilots. So, Kaylee, how was your first flight? It was awesome. I really had a great time, and I recommend it. Well, remember, there's more than one kind of driver's license to consider. From Nashville High School South, I'm Tyler Stanley. And I'm Kaylee Murray. Thank you for watching.